Today I want to talk to you about challenging your mindset. We often can find ourselves getting stuck in negative thoughts. And the key to creating change is to first have awareness around what those thoughts are. I spoke with a client earlier today who we said we're celebrating the fact that when we first started working together, it was really easy for her to have an experience or be triggered by something and then get into that negative mindset. And it would really get her spiraling and keep her feeling stuck. And now what she realizes is that when a something happens when she's triggered or when a, a thought comes up and it brings with it an emotion. She has this awareness and it's okay that she feels this way. She's allowed to feel this way. She understands why it's happening and she doesn't have to go down that rabbit hole. And it's not always an easy journey to get to that place, but it is possible to get there. And when you do, it is absolutely something to celebrate. So we took some time today to really celebrate how, how far she has come and uh, the gratitude that she has for, for the journey and also for all of these experiences, even when some of them were really uncomfortable. It has taught her and she has grown from them and she is stronger and recognizes that she's stronger because of them. So I thought we could do some tapping today on recognizing the uncomfortable thoughts, the unhelpful thoughts, and holding space for them, and then moving towards the better thought or, or feeling. So coming to that pinky side of the hand, taking some nice deep breaths, even though sometimes I can get, thought, I can get stuck in a negative thought loop. Right here, right now, I'm acknowledging it. Even though sometimes I get triggered and that can make me feel angry, sad, overwhelmed. Notice what is most prevalent for you. It's okay that I feel that way. Even though these negative thoughts can be really consuming, all consuming at times. I love and accept myself. These emotions can be so heavy. I get really overwhelmed. And I can go down that rabbit hole of being really hard on myself. Telling myself I should have done something better or faster, beating myself up for feeling a certain way, telling myself I should be over it, that I've worked on this already. That's a really common one. I've done this, why is it coming up again? And I can sit in this frustration. At times I can let this frustration get the best of me. Pause there, take a deep breath in, and let it go. Even though these situations can be really challenging, I'm choosing to love myself through it. Even though the negative thoughts can eat away at me, right here, right now, I'm acknowledging these thoughts. I'm acknowledging these emotions. And notice what thought is most prevalent for you. What feeling is, is coming up. Even though I can get stuck in that whirlwind of negativity and feel really frustrated with myself, right here, right now, I'm acknowledging it. I'm grateful when I'm in a state of awareness. I'm grateful when I recognize these patterns because then I can do something different. 
I can acknowledge how I feel. Allow myself to feel it. And know that it's okay to feel this way. I'm allowed to have these feelings. I'm not a bad person for having big feelings. It's okay, and I'm okay. I need to feel it to heal it. Even though it can be really hard, I'm grateful for newfound awareness. Even though it can be really hard when I get stuck in these negative thoughts, I know I can work my way out of it. Even though it can be tough, I know I can redirect my attention. I get to focus on what I want to focus on. I can choose where I want to focus my attention. And right here, right now, I'm choosing to focus on gratitude. I'm grateful that I'm aware of these thoughts. I'm grateful that I have tools to help me move through this process. I'm grateful for what my emotions are telling me. I'm grateful that I can listen to my body and respond accordingly. I'm grateful for everything that I'm learning about myself. I'm so grateful. Take a nice deep breath in and let it go. And maybe taking the time to think about what is this thought trying to teach me? Is this thought helpful? If it's not, it's time to focus on a new thought, right? So I hope this is helpful. My name is Lauren Nicole Fonville. I am a certified EFT practitioner and integrative energy practitioner, and I'm sending all the good vibes your way. Um, you can reach out if you need additional support and there are lots of free resources that you can access through my website and also through all of my YouTube videos. Take care guys. Bye.